Hello everyone, welcome to another quickish video on this uh, Mini R50. Uh, so today uh, we're just doing another one of these videos that we've done on some other models where I just show you the location of the um, of the OBD port and also give you some uh, live data uh, examples, well not examples, some live data from this car uh, which you might obviously find help, helpful with your troubleshooting. So first of all the OBD port location is just uh, above the, uh, the the clutch pedal just there. I think it's probably not going to come out too well on the video but if you sort of stick your head up and look you can't miss it basically. And then Today I'm actually using the uh, Think Diag tool there. Now, just a, a quick digression. There's a lot of other videos on YouTube where they give these thing like really, really positive reviews. Now, I myself have not been particularly impressed with it, I gotta say. Uh, I'm not gonna go into that in this video because that's not what this video is about. I might do a separate review video on it, maybe. If you guys are interested in that, let, let me know. Uh, but at this point I just wanted to say that I don't I don't want you to think that because I'm using it you think you think that I think it's good uh, because I, I don't basically I'm, I'm not impressed with it just to let you know uh, but anyway uh, so anyway I, I've got the Think Diag um, plugged in with this little sort of extension lead uh, that it comes with and I've got the app loaded on on this like Motorola phone I got here and I'm just in OBD2 live data mode uh, so I'll just run through um, what's showing for this car and uh, just to let you know that th this car is in, is in good running order at the moment uh, it's, it's not showing any uh, trouble codes it, it, it runs nice uh, the temperature and all that is, is where it should be uh, so so I'll just show you uh, what we've got on the actual live data so at, at idle so we're on a calculated load of 30 percent um, engine coolant temperature is at 214 degrees Fahrenheit now this is one of the things I don't like about a sink diag I just haven't been able to figure out how to change that to Celsius but I can confirm that um, uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit is 109 is sorry 200 degrees Fahrenheit is 93 Celsius so actually 220 corresponds to about 100 degrees Celsius and uh, in some ways that's actually the most important thing I want to show you in this video because obviously uh, these R50 minis do suffer from coolant issues so like you know, a, you know some of you might be watching this video just because you want to see what what a normal sort of coolant temperature looks like and actually on these R50 minis and and the newer ones as well uh, a coolant temperature of a hundred degrees Celsius is not unusual because the thermostats on these are actually designed to start opening at 92 I think and not and to fully open at 103 uh, so 100 degrees Celsius is not unusual on these as far as I'm aware I mean those of you who are used to working on older cars will probably be more used to like a, 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 a sort of like a average sort of engine running temperature maybe 80 90 something like this uh, but no on on these like around about 100 especially on a on a warm day like it is today around about 100 is not unusual on these uh, so I'll, I'll just run through uh, so engine rpm fuel system we're in closed loop um, ignition timing about five degrees uh, advanced at uh, at idle uh, intake air temperature 136 again that's that's in Fahrenheit I'm afraid uh, intake manifold absolute pressure again that's in PSI you know I, I don't know how to change that to bar uh, but that's obviously showing a bit of vacuum I, th I think 14 PSI is one bar I think uh, annoying that you can't change it uh, long-term fuel trim uh, is showing about 4% positive on this one at the moment you know nothing to worry about uh, oxygen sensor bank one so switching around the kind of like the mid uh, 0.5 uh, sorry midway between sort of zero and sort of one volt uh, which is sort of like roughly you know where you'd want it to be so nothing unusual there uh, sort of um, the second oxygen sensor uh, bank one sensor two about the same uh, short-term fuel trim what did we look at earlier yeah, the, sorry, long-term fuel trim. Short, short-term fuel trim at, at sort of like uh, has just gone. It's just gone a bit high. Well, that's that's higher than what it should be. Well, I don't know what's going on there. 
we are seeing some live action here guys that could be because the um the cooling fan has just caught on let's let's see what's happening with our um cooling temperature okay so that has gone a bit high even by mini r50 standards but the cooling fan has actually cut on now so live action for you guys here guys i'll, I'll just carry on recording i think so uh, you can see the cooling fan is on well you can't see you can probably hear it and that temperature is coming back down and the cooling fan has just gone back off again so a uh, bit a bit of live action for you there i suppose it is a is a hot day today so uh so you're gonna get that aren't you uh so let's see i think the the field trim probably just responded to all that going on the short-term field trim what's, what's it doing now yep it's gone back down to about zero which is where we'd want it to be uh there's there seems to be a couple of different pids for that short-term fuel trim uh one that first one just says short-term bank one short-term fuel trim based on bank one sensor one and i think maybe these cars most cars i think just do the fuel, fuel trim based on the, uh, the, the 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 first oxygen sensor i think some cars do it on based on both the second first and second sensor so it seems like this one's like calculating a fuel trim short term based on both the upstream sensor and the second stream sensor that's actually something that i well, didn't know so there we go i've learned something too as well so all right guys i'll, I'll leave it there. i'll leave it there uh, this video has been a bit longer and a bit more action-packed i gotta say than what i was expect what i was expecting so um anyway hope you found it useful and interesting and uh, i will catch you guys on another video soon thank you for watching